Uncle Mark here. Welcome back to my channel. Working on uh, my fifth wheel trailer, the one uh, got a little series going on with it. Uh, bought it used in uh, summer of 2020 and trying to make it our own. Adding a few little things. What I'm going to add today is some bubble levels so that we know what is actually level on the trailer instead of doing it the hard way. We'll show you how to do that. I just bought some cheap levels. We'll try, maybe try and put some uh, links in the description very below. Uh, check out the playlist to my uh, RV trailer playlist for more of these kind of things. Let's get right into the video. It's fairly simple to do. I think you can do it. So first, let's go inside and see if uh, the trailer is level lengthways. So I'm going to have the level pointing from the front to the back. According to the way this level is sitting here, it's pretty level. Plus, that's a pain doing all the time. We just come in here. They actually have a level on the fridge, which is right there too. I think it's pretty level. So all we have to do is... Uh, One on the front. So you're gonna have to figure out where you wanna put uh, these levels. I wanna put mine close to uh, my switch for my leveling jacks. That way I can see them going up or down uh, if the trailer's getting level or not. I like it somewhere close to my switch that goes up and down, right? So I'm thinking probably right here. Now, I thought, well, maybe we could use that as a, as a level, but uh, as you can kind of see, not really level. This is, for some reason, but this door is just off, so we know it's level. So we're just gonna stick it here somewhere. So I'm thinking of sitting it somewhere here, just then I can reach and level. Makes sense. I just bought these. We'll pull one here, and then we'll put one in the front. And you're going to want to clean it up, so I've got a little bit of isopropyl alcohol in case there's some kind of uh, well, wax or something on there. So I'm thinking somewhere here, so I'm just going to... This so it'll have something good to stick to. And you may just want to rinse with something. I'm being gross, I'm using human spit. See, at least it's my own. You can get that anywhere. You probably have some at home, but it's good for all sorts of stuff. Now, open this package up. Just got a sticky on the back. So, we know the trailer's level, right? We're gonna sit it like that. And I don't know where you, where guys should put it. As long as you can see, wow, it's gonna be tricky. Just pre-fitting it to see how tough it is to do. I'm just going to peel the red off of there. If I could see what I was doing on the camera. I have to be really careful now. I set that. I try and put it level. Oh, somebody's actually going in the trailer while we're doing this. I know the trailer's level, so let's try and rub it down without breaking this. Down a few times. It'll help the adhesive stick. 
That's going to be darn close. If you wanted a more permanent, you could do something there. There's places you could drill holes, but I'm not going to bother. That's going to be good. It's not going to fall off. No way. I can reach and I can see at the same time. That's going to work out pretty good. We say this was was it close? Uh, well, it's really hard to know. It depends on how these jacks are sitting in the front here too. If you can get it all level, it's really hard to know. Based on what you're doing, it'd be nice if they had them before. Let's go back inside now and see if it's level side to side. We've done front to back, side to side now. Same idea. I have another project we're working on there. Let's see what it says this way. Maybe it's, maybe it's close. Hmm. Okay, let's go back outside. I think we're good, we're pretty level. Let's just verify uh, where we're going to stick this level now. Even under this door. <clears throat> so it's maybe off by that much. Hmm. I guess if you knew what that was, you could just make it straight. If that's really what it is. So that's about the middle. Maybe it would be easier to see up here. I'll figure it out here in a minute. Let me use some more of this stuff. Any kind of wax will be gone. And rinse it off with something. Should be good. Where do I want it? Do I want it there? Or do I want it? I think this is flatter. And then how accurate is it going to be, right? We're going to say it's going to be good enough. So again, let's try and, try and level it as close as I can before I let it stick. It's really hard to do actually. There's a little bit of give. Weekly hand. Not like you're gonna notice. Full instructions as to how to do it too, so if you're you know a little bit worried, it'll work. So that's the video. Pretty easy, I think. Uh, it's just you know, I was trying to figure out how to put those levels on straight, and then I thought, well, when you hold it, it tells you what's straight. Make the trailer straight, hold your level straight, and just stick it on. This is sometimes just a hair of give too. I think you can do it. If you like the video, subscribe. Well, give me the thumbs up first. Subscribe down in the very corner. Check out my other playlists. Usually uh, working on vehicles. I've got some different ones there. Dodge Caravan, uh, my Buick, some other stuff too. Uh, there's an old car playlist too. If you like old cars, I like scouting those kind of things. And of course, the RV trailer playlist. I don't know what else we're going to be fixing on the next. I'm sure there's a few more things. Until next time, you and your family stay safe. Uncle Mark saying bye-bye for now. Remember to be safe. Your safety is your responsibility and should be priority number one. Also, give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Plus, please subscribe and you'll get all the notifications. It's easy. The little dog will show you how. 
Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Uncle Mark here. Welcome back to the channel. Uncle Mark, 